Welcome to Bubba's Cracker Box Palace Tour. Full tour here. There's uh, the Cracker Box as purchased. Brand new. Uh, January 31st, 2019 from Runaway Campers in Ocala, Florida. This is me set up in the Runaway Acres in Ocala, Florida. They have a place you can set up out there. Give it a quick run through. First thing I did when I got home, put a box on the front just for carrying essentials. Next, had to make it mine. So, had a brother-in-law that's a graphic artist. Purchased him some gra uh, vinyl and he worked up some graphics for me and did the installation. Thanks, Cecil. Looks great. Put the graphics on back and driver's side. Did a couple other small graphics on there also. Just showing the other things. Here's my solar panel, 100 watt solar panel. Purchased that. Installed it on the roof using sliding door locks. The front two locks are keyed for security. The back two are just uh, free and open. You can lift the front or the back for best sun view or you can pop it right off and set it up in the sun and leave the uh, cracker box in the shade. This is my controller, solar control box, only $10. Does everything I need it to do. 35 amp hour AGM battery, dropped it in the box. Also picked up a 2000 watt generator uh, for running the air conditioner when I'm boondocking. Worked great. Okay, let's do the grand tour of the interior now. First off, I've got two shelves. Uh, well, top shelf came with it, second shelf I installed myself. On the lower level here, I've got my Alpi Cool refrigerator, cooler. Uh, runs on 12 or 120, so I can run either from my solar or from the 120 if I'm plugged in. You can set the temperature or anything down to minus 5 degrees Fahrenheit. It'll freeze if you want it to. As you can see right there, I've got it, it says 32. I've got it set at 32. What it'll do is uh, compressor will come on, bring it down to 32, then it'll compressor will go off maybe 20 minutes or so. And uh, temperature will get up to about 35 and then it'll come back on. Right there, uh, open space, that's usually where I put my bag with my clothes and towels, ditty bag, things like that, stay there. Uh, second shelf. Uh, I've got my little heater right in there. I'm not going to be needing that here for the rest of this summer. I tell you, it's already 95 outside. Uh, you can see I've got a little fan I keep there. I uh, actually got two fans. I can run that. These are uh, 120. I've got another one that's uh, USB. It'll plug into a 5 volt. Uh, also, off of my solar uh, air conditioner. That's 120. Uh, I can use uh, either when I'm hooked up, shore power or generator works fine there. And my little notebook, I use that for music, uh, movies, videos, whatever. Uh, I've got uh, those speakers, actually a woofer and uh, small speakers there. Top shelf I've got just general storage. I've got a couple of little baskets there for different items. There's tissues and etc etc. Here's my little solar charge controller. I love this thing. Only ten dollars from uh, Amazon. But uh, tell you what this thing works wonders. Uh, USB outputs 12 volt output 
keeps your battery charged, no, knows what kind of battery you got, knows where you want to keep it, keep it charged to. Also, the 12 volt will shut off before it kills your battery, which is a bad thing for your battery. Uh, so, it's a very good controller at a very minimal price. Works great. A uh, couple of hooks there, keep some hats and various items there, just, just things. Everybody's got to have hooks. Tell you what, uh, it's just me. I don't have any uh, uh, feminine touch in there. Uh, not that I'm not open to it, but <laughs> for right now, no. No feminine touches, just basics for me. A uh, couple of hooks on this side here. Top hook, I always put my uh, keys on. And bottom hook, I keep a light or when I need to get up at night and go outside or go for a walk or whatever, I'll keep a light or headlight there. That top hook with the keys on it though, that's a wonderful idea. I always know where they are, they're always handy. And I can't lock myself out. <laughs> now, I decided to close the door so we can get a little better, a little better video. I've got two knobs here, LED control, LED, LED lights interior uh, lighting on the top knob there all the way to click off plenty of light i can read or do anything i want in there if i turn it up or keep it down low for night time bottom switch here uh, controls a light underneath the front door outside uh, you'll see right here i've got inside I've got underneath outside and then I've got them both on right there that's so when I get up at night I can uh, you know step out without stepping on something weird like a snake or whatever <laughs> these are a couple of uh, shell corner shelving units that I've 3d printed I put little logos on there do you want to run away and Bubba's Cracker Box Palace uh, I also went to uh, Walmart I picked up a couple of puck lights they're touch lights uh, all you gotta do is reach up tap them just touch them and they come on really neat perfect for when I want to sit and read or do crosswords at night I don't have to have the top light on and uh, they work real good real good in my comfy cozy little Cracker Box Palace I've also added uh, from Walmart, you go to the marine department or boat department there and get drink holders. Perfect. I go to bed at night, bring a drink with you. One for you and uh, your friend. Very handy. And uh, put your drink there, it's, it's there all night. You can fold right away, easily go away. Those top rings are also adjustable for, I've got a big Yeti that fits in there. Windows, got a window on both sides. Uh, they lock, slide open, get you fresh air. They're screened, and, but you can slide the screens open also. Handy, handy. Uh, yes, the door, it's a great door on this thing. It's a deadbolt with a regular latch to open. Sturdy, very sturdy and insulated. They're a great solid trailer door. I've had no issues with it whatsoever. And for those who think it might be tight, here's what I'm coming from and here's what I'm going to. I'm loving it. I hope you guys enjoyed it. hope you got some information out of it. Don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. Leave me a comment. Tell me what you thought. If you haven't subscribed already, please do so and ring that little bell next to it so you know when I'm uh, uploading. Everybody have a great day. Be nice to each other.